Hello and welcome to this online tutorial of how to redeem vouchers as a merchant user on Connected Farmer. So once you've been registered as a merchant user, you should receive a link as well as login credentials via SMS uh, from the platform. Uh, so that link uh, should read solidarityfund.cfsa.app and then uh, your phone number will be used as your username and then your password will also be sent to you via that SMS. And if in the future you forget your password, you can then just click on recover password and then that should be sent to you via SMS. So let's get right on with it and uh, enter our username and password. Once that is done, you can then click on sign in. All right, once we've signed in, we'll then click on menu. And then we can see that our current role is a merchant user. And then the role location should specify your district. In this case, I'm in the Cape Winelands district. And then the role service point uh, should specify the name of your shop. My shop is called Test Service Point. And uh, then we can now do our voucher redemptions. So a farmer can redeem their full voucher all at once and they can also do a partial redemption. So in doing a partial redemption, if they have a 2000 Rand voucher, they can redeem for any amount uh, in this, let's call it a thousand Rand. Um, if they redeem for a thousand Rand, they'll get the balance of their remaining thousand Rand via SMS with a new voucher code, which they can then use later on, whether at your shop or at a different service provider. So let's start off with a partial redemption. Uh, so to do that, we'll click on redeem voucher. All right, and then the farmer will present to me his phone number, which I will enter in uh, this format as displayed, starting with 27 and then the rest of the phone number. And then I'll also have to put in the voucher code that the farmer gives to me. Once I've done that, I can click on find farmer. So the system will now search to see if there's a farmer on the system who has that voucher code, which is valid and has um, an amount on it. The quantity field represents the price of the product. So it is the quantity of rands that is going to be spent on a specific product. How this interface works is you have to fill in the quantity for each product separately and then you hit set quantity and choose the product. We are now going to show three examples of this. So after setting the quantity and pressing set quantity, you look at the list of items available in the shop and you select one. For the first example, we're going to say that a water pump costs 100 rand. So we select water pump and you can see that the item selected is water pump and the cost of that water pump is 100 rand. If you enter the amount incorrectly, you can just remove the item and you'll see it's removed from the selected list at the bottom. So for our second example, let's say we want to buy mesh fencing. Mesh fencing costs 1000 Rand. We set the quantity and then we select mesh fencing. And at the bottom, we can see that it has now been added there. Uh, secondly, we want to buy a fork and it costs 500 Rand. We set quantity, we select fork, and now we can see that at the bottom of the list we have the mesh fencing and the fork. So far, um, the farmer has 2,000 Rand to spend and we have, he has selected items worth 1,500 Rand, which means he has 500 Rand left. Let's say that the third item you would like to buy from your store is a water tank and this costs 200 Rand so you set quantity add the water tank and now at the bottom you can see the full list of items that the farmer would like to buy from your store so he has spent 1700 Rand which means he has 300 Rand left this will be 
sent to him in a new voucher right after he has redeemed this voucher. So let's just go ahead and uh, redeem that uh, purchase. So I'll click on the next button. And then it will show me everything that the farmer has selected. Um, in here it will show me the units are 100 Rand, or the units is in Rands rather, and also the quantity, uh, the amount, um, the Rand value of those items. So the fork is worth 500 Rand, the fencing is worth 1000, and the water tank is worth 200. I'll then click on the complete button. This should then send an SMS like the one shown on screen. To the farmer to say uh, dear farmer this is what you've redeemed and it will also send one to you as a merchant user to show you that you have redeemed a voucher for a farmer please note that vouchers are only valid for 30 days since the date that they were sent to the farmer i'm going to show you what happens when you try to redeem an expired voucher so firstly you enter the farmer's mobile number and then you enter the voucher code and then you can click on find farmer then you'll see on the top right hand side it will tell you that the voucher has expired so you can't proceed beyond the screen lastly we would like to ask you to keep a record of all vouchers redeemed at your store you can do this by writing down the voucher code with the farmer's mobile number as well as the amount that was redeemed this will be in case there are any issues later with payment or if you have any queries so that we could go back to the records um, and compare them. If you have any more questions regarding payments and how that would work, please read the documentation that has been shared with you. And if you have any queries while using the system, please contact the support desk.